Alrighty guys, I hope you guys are having a great and wonderful day today. You know, in today's video, I really want to show you three different ways that you can check to see if you have a real piece of Moldavite with you or not, okay? So, the very first test that I do before I get any piece of Moldavite is the feeling test, okay? Now, I'm sure some of you are like, yeah, 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 okay, the feeling test, you know. Hey, it's what I use. It's what works, so I use it. Okay, and basically what I do is I hold this piece of moldavite like pretty close to my face and if I can feel the energy in my head then I know it's authentic, right? If I can feel the energy I know it's authentic and that's how I actually get every piece of moldavite is by first feeling out the energy, okay? But let's say that for if some reason or another you can't feel the energy, right? I know that you know some of my relatives haven't felt the moldavite energy at first but then later on they have as they've gotten used to it and you know they've just worked with it a little bit longer okay so you want to look at it through two different scientific methods that you can use to actually check and there's actually a fourth way um, that you can actually check it um, with a fire torch but that's a little bit more extreme but there's definitely another way that you can check it as well using a fire torch and if you guys want to know how to do that let me know in the comments below okay so anyways two other basic scientific methods right so what you're gonna want to do is get a magnifying loop right these are the ones that you see like gem and jewelers you know just looking at a looking at a piece like a diamond and seeing if it's real or not if, or if it's authentic right it's the same method that we can use to check if our moldavite is legit okay now if you've actually watched one of my previous videos um, you can basically tell Right, using a magnifying loop if your moldavite is real or not by checking to see if it has elongated bubbles, right? Kind of like ovally bubbles, okay? Why? Because that's what it was created within the moldavite as it was traveling through the air, the meter was traveling through the air until it finally struck Earth and it created those elongated bubbles, okay? Now, fake moldavite actually has perfect circles. Why? Because they're man-made, okay? So people actually blow these little bubbles into it and it creates these perfect circles and elongated um, circles are actually basically impossible to replicate because it's not something that a human being can really create, okay? So that's one thing you want to look at. I'm going to show you really quickly um, the elongated bubbles inside this piece of Moldavite because it has a really straight edge, a clean cut um, right here, which is why it's really easy to see the bubbles inside um, through this piece of moldavite. You can see that there's elongated bubbles, and it's always a good sign if there's a lot of like little bubbles in it as well. Okay, so let me do that really quick. And I'm using, I'm going, to, I'm going to be using a UV light um, since right now my other flashlight. I don't want to be switching batteries, and it'll just take time. Okay, so I'm just going to use a UV light to show you really quick. Okay, so. The quickest way to do this is just to get a regular flashlight, right? Right now I'm just using a UV light. Get a magnifying loop. See if you guys can see this. Bam, right? Let's hold that still. So as you can see, the bubbles are elongated, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Da, 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 da. Oops. Trying to keep it steady. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. So you're gonna be want to be looking for bubbles that are elongated. Let me move this a little bit like this. Hopefully you guys can see. I have been noticing, guys, though, before I recorded this video, that this camera doesn't really get exactly everything the way that I see it. It kind of distorts it a little bit, but it's very, very, very beautiful, guys. I love seeing the bubbles that are inside here. I mean, it is just, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's extremely beautiful, guys. <laughs> Especially when I hold it up like this. There we go. Very. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks a lot different. <laughs> Actually show this oh my gosh yeah it's yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of bubbles here like <laughs> the camera cannot even completely get like there's so many little bubbles like that are just like so flattened out like it's so crazy how little they are but they're so like elongated and stretched out which I really just love it's it's amazing to be able to see that. So that's something you really want to look for, guys, um, in your piece of moldavite. Just check that, but let, just make sure that they're elongated. And I actually have a picture of what it looks like um, to get an actual fake piece of moldavite. Um, just because I I've personally haven't come across a fake piece of moldavite myself, but this is what a picture would look like. See how perfect those circles are? And these are actually from China, okay? These are actually from China. Um, so if you guys are looking for Moldavite, do not get any from China, especially if they have bubbles like this. See how perfect they are? You can tell that's just automatically fake, okay? It's fake. And I just wanted to take that picture and um, show that to you guys because it's just crazy how much um, China is selling fake Moldavite here, on, here in the market right now. So just be aware of that. So look for those elongated, um, elongated circles inside your Moldavite. Okay, but now here comes the fun part, right? The UV light. Okay, some of you guys have been waiting for this for a while now, right? So how do you check your mold light to see if it's authentic or not using a UV light, okay? Now you may be wondering, it's like, Chewy, why would I want to use a UV light, okay, instead of like a magnifying loop? Well, first of all, you always want to maybe put all your mold light through all these tests to make sure it passes each one, right? Kind of like when you take your gold or your silver to like a cash cash for gold place, right? They put them through the test to make sure that it passes to make sure it's authentic, okay? But not only that, guys, sometimes you'll get a piece like this, right? This is um, one of my new um, pieces in my collection. And a piece like this doesn't really have sharp edges where you can really see the bubbles, right? It, it just, it's just, it has like a bunch of lines on it, but you can't really see the bubbles. So you can use the UV light test to, t to see if it's authentic or not. But now what you want to look for um, when you actually use the UV light is to see whether it glows or not, okay? When you have a real authentic piece of moldavite, the moldavite will not glow, okay? It will stay dark, and that's what you're looking for, okay? If it glows for any reason, you know it's synthetic, you know it's fake, okay? Moldavite just doesn't glow, okay? So that's basically what you want to look for. If, and, and what I have here, since I don't have a fake piece of Moldavite, I've done my best. Now, this is the phosphorensic rock, okay? This rock actually glows in the dark, okay? But what I really want to want to showcase to you guys is that if your Moldavite glows, like this phosphorensic rock, right? Um, once I turn, I'm going to turn the lights off and everything so you guys can see. But um, if your Moldavite glows somewhat close to what this phosphorensic rock does, you can, you know for a fact you have a fake piece of moldavite, okay? Like I said, I'm gonna repeat it again so you guys remember, okay? Real moldavite does not glow, okay? So if you get your UV light and you shine it and it glows, you know that it's fake. But if you shine the light on the moldavite and it stays dark, you know that it's real, okay? And like I said, I practiced actually recording this video before, um, I recorded it and I realized as well that the UV light when I turn the lights off it doesn't really the camera doesn't really capture what it, what I see in the video so I'm gonna do my best um, the best way that I actually do it when I'm not on camera is really up close and I see that it doesn't glow okay I'm gonna do it actually from far away so that you guys can see because when I do it really close it brightens and you can't see anything Okay, like it just blinds the whole camera. So I'm gonna do my best to capture this so that you guys can see it. But let's just hope for the best and hopefully the, ca the camera will capture it through this time. Okay, so here we go. Let me turn off the lights. Alrighty guys. So first and foremost, if you guys notice, just right here to my right, okay, this is, if you're piece of moldavite glows like this when you shine the light on it not when it's not on it but when it when when you actually shine the light on it and it glows like this you have a fake piece of moldavite okay but okay let's see if i can capture this 
See, right now when I'm shining it, in my view, guys, it's not glowing. It's actually completely dark. I don't know if you guys can tell. Hopefully you guys can see. Okay, it's not glowing at all. Okay, my other piece, not glowing at all either. It's just staying dark, okay? But now this piece, obviously this is a phosphorensic rock, right? But it's glowing, right? It's glowing. And that's what you're kind of looking for, guys, seeing if it glows. I'm not saying it's going to glow in the dark like this, but you kind of get my gist, right? It's glowing, okay? If you want to get a piece that's not glowing, it just stays dark, okay? That's what you're really looking for. And that's actually one of the easiest ways to check if you have fake mold light or not, okay? So I really wanted to share this with you guys since I know it's a huge, huge, huge challenge right now in the Moldavite community. I know a lot of people, I know myself when I got started, I was kind of skeptical to get, you know, Moldavite online, especially, you know, since I saw some really good deals where it's like, you know, 50 grand, 50 grams for like $30. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a really good deal. And then I saw it, it was from China and I looked at it, it looked a little weird. It looked like it glowed, it looked like jello, basically. It looked like jello, you know, encompassed by a little, you know, silver or gold, um, you know, pendant. And I was like, no, there's something not right with this. Like it looks, it looks weird. It doesn't look authentic. Um, and so, like I said, I don't get anything from China first and foremost. But now that you have kind of like a foundation of what to look for, um, this this is something that you can definitely do at home. Um, I got mine, uh, my flashlight from Amazon or eBay, one of those two. Um, I have one on my website as well at www.themoldavideexperience.weebly.com um, that you can get through Amazon as well. Um, loop as well, um, loop, loopy. <laughs> I have some of those as well if you guys want to get some. Or maybe you can just go get some at your local store, wherever it is that you get them. Um, I definitely recommend that you have one in your tool set um, just so that you know that you're getting a real authentic piece of Moldavite. Get a magnifying loop, get uh, a UV light, and um, check it out for yourself. Just check out your Moldavite and see if it's authentic. Um, it's, it's a great way to check it. Um, although I still go by my number one test, which is what guys, what, what, what is my number one test? Yeah, just to feel it. If I can feel the energy, I know it's authentic, but it's awesome to still be able to prove it this way as well. And um, yeah, uh, there's also the torch test, which I don't know if I'm going to actually do that here. Um, I don't want to set anything on fire, but um, it's definitely the, basically the torch test is kind of like the same thing. You get a real piece of Moldavite, and I've actually seen it live um, through a video, but they basically take a fake piece of Moldavite with an authentic one, they get a torch, they blast the, the fake one, and it just literally starts to melt, okay? The fake piece of Moldavite just starts to melt. They put the torch to the real Moldavite, and it just glows really red, but it doesn't melt. So that's another way you can check it as well, is through the torch test. Although, you know, kind of like a disclaimer, you know, I don't um, do that only if you know what you're doing, otherwise it could be dangerous. Um, so yeah, so just be careful if you decide to do a torch test and see if your Moldavite basically melts or not. So those are basically my methods, guys, that I recommend that you guys use to check if you have a fake piece of Moldavite or not, right? Um, and so yeah, hopefully this video has helped you out in some way, shape, or form, guys. If it has, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, and guess what, guys? I send you guys so much love, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.